Hello, I am Sandra Hyde, Staff Engineer with the International Code Council. Today I am talking about the guide to the 2009 IRC wood wall bracing provisions available from ICC. Wall bracing, an important factor to consider when designing, performing plan review, building, or inspecting a structure, is a common source of confusion and misapplication. The guide to the 2009 wood wall bracing provisions clarifies and explains wall bracing. Over time, the typical house has changed shape. Houses in the mid-20th century contained small rooms with walls continuous along the exterior of the house. Today, houses are larger with discontinuous walls requiring more bracing. Compare the photos of a house built between 1930 and 1950 to a house built after 2000. Four primary features of the guide include a checklist for using the bracing provisions, wind bracing development, seismic considerations for bracing, and whole house bracing examples. Wall bracing is typically formed by adding sheathing to wall framing. The sheathing on the wall resists wind and earthquake loads directly. The house in the photo is braced using the continuous sheathing method with wood structural panels. This method is one of 15 for bracing walls described in the wood wall bracing provisions. Wall framing is designed to hold a roof and floors up under snow, rain, and the weight of the house. Wall bracing supports a house against pressures caused by wind and the movement of the structure from side to side during an earthquake. The figure shows how a framed wall racks sideways without sheathing on the frame. The photo shows racking of an incompletely sheathed house after an earthquake. The amount of wall bracing required on a braced wall line depends upon the length of the wall line, the braced wall line spacing, the seismic design category, wind speed of the local area, which story the wall line is on, and the method of bracing used. Because there are multiple factors, required lengths of bracing have been placed into tables. A braced wall line drawn on a set of house plans will not be drawn through all of the walls near it. Walls are frequently offset from one another. In the IRC, when a potential braced wall line is drawn along plans, any parallel wall within four feet of the wall line is considered part of the wall line. In the example, if a braced wall line is placed along wall A, then walls A, B, and C will be within four feet of the braced wall line. New to the 2009 IRC, wind bracing development considers how far apart braced wall lines are. Perpendicular walls act as a sail resisting wind pressures while the braced wall lines resist the movement of the perpendicular or sail wall. In the figure, the short wall with a larger sail requires more braced wall panels than the longer wall. Many groups will find this book a handy reference including designers, home builders, plan reviewers, inspectors, architects and engineers, building officials, and homeowners. Another publication by ICC, Building Code Basics Residential, based on the 2009 IRC, presents code requirements with non-code language, detailed illustrations, and practical information to give readers a solid working knowledge of critical code applications. For more information, see the video for the Building Code Basics. The information needed to order the wood wall bracing provisions and other ICC publications is shown on the screen. Thank you for your interest.